Now we're going to apply and state the second of Kirchhoff's circuit laws and that is based on the principle of conservation of energy and here I abbreviated KV or Kirchhoff voltage law stating that the algebraic sum of all the voltages around the loop is zero and we note here I labeled it properly so that's the first thing you need to do is assign the reference marks the polarities and be consistent with the passive sign convention say the direction of the current is this way then then this must be plus for V1 and this must be minus so these are my reference marks and that's how we're going to write our KVL based on these reference marks independent of what the device is so here we have a uh, note that when we go from a plus to a minus when we write the loop equation that this is known as a voltage drop and then when we go from a negative to a positive the voltage is negative and that's known as a voltage rise so here loop one I'm gonna label it right here that's loop one and we're gonna go through V1, V2, and V3. For loop 2, we're going to go through V3, V4, and V5. And then we have a th another loop. Let me put it in blue, which is really the outside part of the circuit. And we'll call that loop 3. And we'll see that loop 3 can be generated from loop 1 and loop 2. So, but this can be used to help verify that our calculations are correct. So let's write the KVL equations for loop one. So again, we'll start off here, and we should end up here, and that's equal to zero. So we're going from a minus to a plus, so that's a negative V1. We're going from a plus to a minus, so that's a plus V2. So we're entering that device with a positive and then here we're entering V3 with positive so that's a positive V3 and that's equal to 0. For loop 2 we're going to start right here and so we're going from negative to positive so that's a negative V3 then we're entering a positive V4 and entering a positive V5 and that's equal to 0. Finally, for loop 3, we'll go going through device 1, 2, 4, and 5. So here, this would be a negative V1. We're entering a positive V2 and a positive V4 and a positive V5. And that's all equal to 0. And that's it associated with writing the KVL. And what we're going to do next is assign some numbers in terms of what we're given in sort of voltages, polarities associated with some devices, and then find the polarities associated with devices that needs to be found. Okay, now we assign some values of V1, V2, and V4 respectively. So we're here for V1, we're assigning a plus 5 volts. For V2, we're assigning a minus 3 volts. And for V4, we're assigning a plus 10 volts. And we're asked to find V3 and V5. So here, what we're going to do is going through loop 1, we have, notice we have a sign two types of signs. One sign associated with writing the KVL and signs associated with the actual voltage polarities assigned to these circuit variables. So for here we have a minus and then inside here, the parentheses here we're going to put a plus 5 volts. That's the actual polarity of V1. For V2 we put a plus minus 3 volts and then what we're trying to find is V3 and that implies that and this is all equal to zero and that implies that V3 is equal to plus 8 volts so that's our first answer and then we can apply loop 2 but we know what's V3 so that's a minus plus 8 volts for V4, it's a plus 
10 volts and then for V5 is what we're trying to find and you can see here for V5 that implies that we have minus 8 plus 10 is a plus 2 and then putting it in the other side means it's a minus 2 volts so that's what we're given okay so we already found our unknown variables of V3 and V5 now let's just take a look at loop 3 and see if it's consistent in fact when we do generate uh, the loop 3 voltage equations it can be generated from loop 1 and loop 2 so we really didn't need loop 3 so here for V1 we were given as plus 5 so there's a negative plus 5 volts V2 is a plus minus 3 volts and a plus for V4 is a plus 10 volts and then for V5 we found it was a plus negative 2 volts okay is equal to 0 so here we have minus 5 minus 3 is minus 8 and here we have minus 2 which is minus 10 which adds with the 10 volts of V4 and that's equal to 0 so this checks out so we're consistent in that respect one thing we should note that when we have uh, N nodes and E two terminal elements then they're only E minus N plus one independent KVL connection equations. So in this case, our number of elements is one, two, three, four, five. So E, our number of elements is five. The number of nodes is one, two, three, and four. So we subtract four, and then we add one, and then we need only two KVL equations. Okay, again, E is the number of elements which is 5 and so our generic formula would be E number of elements minus N plus 1 is equal to the number of KVL equations and in this case it's 2